is the solution to the milk and water puzzle that I posed a couple days ago. And to do it, we're going to use variables. So we're going to say the volumes of each of these in the beginning are going to be x. So this one has x, uh, let's say, liters of milk, and this one has x liters of water. Now, you're going to have to take away a little bit from this one, a spoonful. So let's say minus uh, y. Now y has to be smaller than x, of course. And now plus y. So let's just update our status. So <clears throat> on how much milk is left in this one afterwards, x minus y. And I'll say milk. Now, how much um, water is in this one? Well, there's still x water, water, but now there's y milk. And then you mix it all up, and what that does is that means our total volume here is x plus y. That's our total volume. And how much of that is milk? So the proportion is y over x plus y is the proportion of milk. And now what you do is you take y amount of the substance, remember it's a spoonful, right, and the spoonful was y, so we take y amount of it, and remember y over x plus y is the proportion of milk, so if we multiply the y we get y squared over x plus y milk in that spoonful, and then we take that and we put it back inside here. So then the total amount of milk in here is going to be, <coughs> it's going to be x minus y plus y squared over x plus y. And the total amount of water, so the water is given by um, x over x plus y. That's the proportion, and multiplying that by the spoonful, which is y, we get xy over x plus y water. So, and that goes in here. And that's the only water in here, so we know let me switch colors to blue for water. We know that there's xy over x plus y amount of water <coughs> in the milk jug. And how much um, milk is in the water jug? Remember there was y, and then we took away y squared over x plus y. So it's y minus y squared over x plus y. And if we simplify this, um, let's simplify it up here. It's getting a bit messy. Um, we're going to do common denominator on the y, so it's going to be y times x plus y minus y squared over x plus y. And simplifying that, that comes out to xy plus y squared minus y squared, so it's just xy over x plus y. So we found that there's xy over x plus y milk in the water jug, and there's xy over x plus y water in the milk jug. So there's in fact equal amounts of both, which seems a little counterintuitive at first.